Hey guys, what would Jesus do? Got a minute? When we look at the things that Jesus does, it is mind-boggling. We see Jesus braiding a whip and clearing out the temple, spitting on the ground and taking that, making mud out of it, spit mud and wiping it on the blind. He did all kinds of crazy stuff. So back whenever they came up with WWJD or what would Jesus do, there was kind of like the question of, hey, make sure that you're doing the right thing. I think for a lot of people, it was a way for them to start to think to not sin. And they had these little bracelets. They had different things that reminded them. But whenever we really answer that question, what would Jesus do? A lot of times we answer with, what would I do if I was good? What if I was able to stave off all the things that are holding me down? But that's not the same question as what would Jesus do? Jesus tells us what he would do. So Jesus said, when you have lifted up the Son of Man, then you will know that I am he and that I do nothing on my own, but speak just what the Father has taught me. The one who has sent me is with me. He has not left me alone, for I always do what pleases him. So what would Jesus do? Please God. That wouldn't always be the thing that I would do if I was good. I don't know when I would walk up and and just because I'm good, I, I reach my hand out and tell somebody that couldn't walk to stand up and pick up their mat. See, what I would do if I was good only really helps me. But Jesus wasn't about him. He was about pleasing the Father, which was reaching out to God's people and the people that he loves. So what would change if you and Jesus had a body switch? What would he do that's so different than what you would do? Because that's what he wants you to do. He wants you to please the Father just like he did. So I hope that whenever you think about what would Jesus do, it becomes so much bigger. Thanks for taking a minute.